that little one down, it'll fit. The following operations take place in chronological order. First story assembly. The main or first story of the home is the first section that will be set into place. Several operations are performed prior to lifting the first story into place. Once the home is positioned for lifting by the crane operator, the following operations begin. First, the LVL or laminated beam on the exterior rim joist is notched with a saw to accommodate a crane strap. Second, sheathing is then removed from the center mating wall openings. At the same time, protective poly wrap is removed from the top of the first story. It is important to note that a roll-off container on the job site is an important part of having a safe, clean work environment. Third, the lag bolts attaching both the carrier and the tongue to the home are removed. This will allow the home to then be lifted free of the carrier and tongue when the home is ready to be set. All electrical, plumbing, and HVAC access covers located on the top of the first story are removed prior to the setting of the second story on the foundation. Now the home is set on the foundation by a trained and or licensed setting crew in accordance with individual state laws. This particular crew is using certified crane set straps to set the home. The first segment of the home is lined up and positioned onto the foundation by the setting crew. 
Steel support columns, steel beams, or pre-framed walls in the foundation area are needed to support and level the center of the home. Now the second segment of the home is positioned and set onto the foundation. Note that a come-along system is used to tightly position the segments of the home together. After the first story of the home is set. Once the first story is set on the foundation, more preparation work is done before the second story can be set. It is critical that the set crew check all floor and ceiling access panels are uncovered and cross-checked against the numbered blueprint for accuracy. Once the locations have been verified, the set crew makes sure that the floor ducts are unobstructed and move freely. Next, the electrical amp clips are checked to be sure that they match the blueprint and are also unobstructed. If time allows, temporary support walls between the first and second story can be removed at this time. While part of the set crew checks the first floor access panels, the remainder of the crew is preparing the second story of the home for setting. Second story setting. Again, the LVL on the second story of the home is notched for a crane strap. Next, the outside perimeter or rim joists of the home are insulated with bat insulation. This needs to be done properly and with care as it will not be able to be easily accessed later. Remove all lag bolts again from the carrier and tongue. Finally, all second story connecting wire coils are checked to ensure that they are properly secured and not hanging down during the set. Wires left hanging down can potentially be damaged during setting. A carpet wrapped support board is then tacked to the soffit area to reduce pressure from the crane strap. Now the second story of the home is set into place. Notice the set crew guides the home into place, paying particular attention to lining up the individual pieces of the home to ensure proper fit and finish. Once the home is set on the foundation, the crane is used to reassemble the home carriers prior to its departure. Any roof work is then finished, making the home watertight in a short period of time. After the set, the following items are done as part of the finish work in a typical two-story home. Interior work, plumbing connections. A licensed plumber will need to make the plumbing connections between the first and second floors. In making these connections, the following tasks will need to be performed. Removal of all factory installed air test caps. Connection of the waste, vent, and supply lines water testing of all lines prior to closing the access panels, electrical line amp clip connections. Next, the electrical amp clips connecting the sections of the home are completed. To perform this function, the crew simply matched the numbered male clip to the corresponding female clip. Exterior work. Installation of the perimeter band board completes the connection of the two stories and allows for on-site siding and finish work to begin. Any gaps around this band board should be sealed with expanding foam or an outdoor caulk. Gable end and in many instances second story siding are now completed out on-site. Additional on-site construction includes the construction of garages and porches and decks, installation of any brickwork, all cement flat work, including such items as sidewalks, driveways, and basement floors. Upon completion of final cleanup and landscaping, the home is ready to enjoy for a lifetime.